On this video, I'm going to be talking about keyway broaching. Now what you see here is a keyway brooch set. This is a number 20. They come in different sets and sizes. And the largest keyway broaching set would be a number 100. Uh, number 100 pretty much includes everything that you need and I think it comes with like seven or more brooches. But um, this is a new line brooch set. Now there's 18 bushings in this kit and five brooches. Now this is pretty much what your standard bushing looks like. In this kit they're divided by eighths and the lower part is sixteenths. The five brooches here come in one eighths, three sixteenths, quarter inch, five sixteenths, and three eighths. Now this is what a standard keyway brooch looks like. It's pretty much just a piece of high speed steel that has teeth ground into it and then it has a gradual taper from one end to the other. So as this tool is being pushed through the material each tooth actually cuts off a little bit of material at a time. The more it goes in the more material is removed this kit is a two pass kit that means that every brooch has a shim that's included with it so you would take your bushing you would insert it in your work material then you would get your brooch and of course you're gonna lube all this up before you start and you would make your first pass after that you would take the shim that's included with the brooch and put it into the bushing and then just repeat that so what a keyway is is pretty much what you would find on a pulley and you also find them on shafts it's kinda like this small engine shaft and you also find them on transmission gears um, other gears or just pretty much anything that needs a keyway cut into it to align it or to lock it in place. Broaching keyways with one of these kits is pretty easy. Uh, it can be done with an arbor press, a shop press, or a homemade press like what I what I built. Uh, you could actually even do it with a manual press if you wanted to or a screw press. Um, 3 16 one and under are usually tiny they're usually about seven to eight inches long and they can be done on a one to two ton uh, manual arbor press and anything from a quarter inch and above you would need a shop press at the least so if your press has any slop in it it'll tend to push this brooch in there crooked it's good to have a nice quality or at least a tight enough press to actually do broaching since it's made out of high speed steel it's very strong but it's also very brittle so a sudden drop on concrete or metal could actually crack it or break it in half or it could very well shatter too usually it won't happen like on a smaller brooch like this but the larger brooches they're much heavier so the heavier it is the harder it falls so in the next part of the video I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you guys alright so in order for me to actually broach this pulley I gotta actually cut a one inch diameter into this existing pulley here So I got 61 thousandths more to go before I get to my one inch diameter.
I've done my final pass, now I'm going to be putting some layout dye on here. So I'm just going to soak up a Q-tip with some layout dye. And just coat the face of my pulley here. I'll go ahead and do that to the back part too. Let, let that dry off a bit. It's almost done. And this already has previous keys cut into it. So what I want to do is I want to take advantage of one of the keyholes that's already cut in there. And since this was for a smaller shaft, um, now that it's bored out, I'll have that old existing keyway as kind of a pilot hole. So I'm going to take a scribe on the, and I'm just going to outline where the existing uh, keyway was at. And that makes that visible. So what I'll do now is I'll put my bushing in there and I'll center that. So what I'll do now is I'll mount this onto my broaching press and get this pulley broached. So I've gone ahead and I've mounted my pulley and I'm pretty much ready to do the broach or the first pass of the broach here. Another thing to do is put a lot of uh, oil on there because you don't want the broach binding up. So here goes. I can already feel it that it's making the cut. So now that I'm halfway through the cut, I'm going to go ahead and use the air option. I've gone ahead and made my first pass and as you can see this high-speed steel brooch did cut through cast iron there's a whole bunch of uh, little chips in there so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out the best way I found of cleaning this is with a toothbrush so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this and then I'll go ahead and uh, insert my shim which I can do right now and with the shim in place I want to go ahead and lube that up too because we don't want the brooch binding up with the shim all right so I've inserted the brooch and this time I have the shim in there so this will be the second and final pass back off my tool and I'll extend the jack as a jack screw and now I'll finish the brooch So, I'll go ahead and clean up my brooch, and I'll 
unmount the pulley from the from the arbor there and well we'll see how that came out all right so I finally cleaned up my pulley and you can see another one that's right here on the side of it this is one that I actually made on my lathe now if you guys have watched my videos on the raised fab shop channel uh, you guys will see that I made this a couple years back and it's pretty much um, cast aluminum or it's actually a big old ingot of aluminum that I melted on my foundry furnace and I ended up making this and I did do a keyway onto the aluminum pulley it really didn't have a really tight fit on the engine shaft or my air compressor motor shaft so I did cut an existing pulley and I pretty much used the center of it that I pressed in here and then I went and I drilled holes and pretty much bolted the whole unit together so it's a mixture of steel and aluminum and this thing has lasted for many many years and the aluminum hasn't worn away or anything if anything it's just been polished but anyways that was the whole reason for making this other pulley because I picked this up for two dollars and fifty cents and since it was the right diameter that I actually needed it's a little bit bigger than this one this is the pulley that that I've always needed for my air compressor it's cast iron I thought it was steel uh, it wasn't very difficult to broach this but it did a really good job as you can see there and I didn't deburr this uh, many people deburr their their uh, keyholes or their keyway holes and I'm just gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna go ahead and install two new set screws and I'll be installing this on my air compressor so I got ahead and installed the pulley that I just broached on my air compressor So that was the demonstration of the Keyway uh, broaching set. I guess I'll just go ahead and talk a little bit about the tool here. So one of these kits at MSC goes for $408, which is a little bit pricey, but the work that you can do with one of these kits quite amazing and really not everybody does a lot of broaching anyways, but for a fabrication shop or a shop where there's a lot of machining or even a go-kart shop could benefit from a tool like this there is times that I do need to broach and in the past I've always needed to broach something so what I did was did it manually on the lathe and I've also done it on the milling machine now, the problem with that though is on the milling machine you wear out the quill and on the lathe you'll end up wearing out the half nut if it weren't for if it wasn't for this kit, I wouldn't have never broached that cast iron pulley because it was it would have just been such a hassle to do it on the lathe. And I think I've had that pulley for years now, maybe like two three years, and well, I never got around to it. Always wanted one of these. I guess I could say one of my wishes came true because for years maybe like five years or more I've been wanting to get one of these and every time I save up for one I end up putting the money into another tool that's needed that's my keyway brooch set uh, if you want more information on it you can check out the MSC tool company website it's newline n-u-l-i-n-e and it's the number 20 set and I think it's still up for around a little over four hundred dollars it comes in a nice fancy box um, it's really nice and solid the only thing I did was I took off the screws and I ended up putting super glue on them and then I put them back in, into the actual box so the, it sh nothing should come off I did the same thing with the little hinges on the inside here also I took some vinyl and put on the bottom of the brooches 
just so when it's moving around nothing gets banged up. Um, I would have liked to have done that on this but it has kind of like a waxy wood. I don't know it protects the bushings quite well. Uh, I did add a little greenies. It's called greenies. They, they come from PetSmart and then I think they're little pet toothbrushes but um, those work really well to clean your parts. You could also use a toothbrush. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you clean all your tools once you're done with them because you don't want them to get rusty. But anyways, I hope you guys learned something about cutting a keyway or keyway broaching. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and see you guys on the next one.